Hey everyone, I'm Wun Kai and today I'll show you how to install the Maybank e-wallet on your Apple Watch or as I call it, All Wallet or AW Wallet. Let's just call it All Wallet. Anyway, as you know, there's no such e-wallet on your Apple Watch. There's no boost, there's no touch and go, there's no Maybank app on your Apple Watch. So what I'm showing today, it involves some little bit of hacking. I'm going to tell you how to extract some secret token from the Maybank app from your phone and we're going to be putting it onto your watch. If you have do it correctly, your watch can now become an e-wallet whereby the merchant can scan the QR code that appears on your watch and then you can pay for stuff. So that's step one, which is hacking. And step two, you just need to install the shortcut on your iPhone which will be synced to your Apple Watch. That's it. Oh yeah, please do not share the secret token to anyone and that includes me. But don't worry, if you don't trust me, everything is open source, you can study the code, you can look at the shortcut, what it's doing, step by step. But if you cannot trust yourself, that's not something I can help you with. So, I hope you understand what you're dealing with, and if you want to proceed, please continue on. First, let's open the App Store. Download Proximan. Open it. Start. Click Start again. Click Allow if it asks you. Enter your iPhone passcode. Click Certificates. Generate the cert. Click Show Me. It will open a walkthrough. Close it. Just follow me along. Let's go to Safari. Go to proxy.man slash SSL. We want to download the profile, so click allow, click on your iPhone, and close it. Open up settings, go to general, under VPN and device management, click on proxyman CA. This is the profile we downloaded. Hit install, you will ask for your passcode, click install and install, and that's done. Okay, after installing, go back to general, go up. Click about, go down, click certificate trust settings, enable the cert, continue. After completing this step, we can go back to Proximan. We start the VPN service. Next, click on cert again, check is it installed correctly or not. If it is, you can open your favorite Maybank app. I blocked my face ID because I don't want you guys to see my bank accounts. Go back to Proximan. Now you should see a lot of links. Look for MTU Mobile. Click on it. On the top right corner, you should see the setting icon. Click on Enable SSL Proxying. This is important. We have to do this. With that, we can go back to the Maybank app. On the bottom of the menu, click QR Pay. Then click Pay. Once it's loaded, we can go back to the Proximan app. As you can see, Proximan has successfully infiltrated the app. It has captured multiple requests, three in this case. You should click on the first one, then click view body. Now you will see a long list of text. In the front part of the text, look for the keyword generate consumer QR. In my case, it ends on the second line. If you can't spot the keyword on this request, you can go back to the list and choose another request, or better to restart the interception process. Otherwise, click the option menu, click copy. Oh yeah, please do not share this information with anyone you trust or you don't trust, and that includes me. Just a few more steps left, and we are almost there. Open this website, awwallet.resell.app. Okay, scroll down, look for the yellow download button, click download, then click get shortcut. It will open up the shortcut app. Let's set up the shortcut. It will pop up the screen. Make sure to replace this with what you copied just now. Once this is done, you can add a shortcut. In my case, I'm going to replace it because I already have mine. Let's head to my shortcuts. You should see a new shortcut called Pay My Bank. Click on it. It will ask for permission. You have to click Allow. Click Allow again and wait for a bit to load. Hooray! If you done correctly up until this point, you should see a QR code. So now it's the time for us to pull up our Apple Watch and uh, do the rest there. Go to the shortcuts app, 
Look for paved man bank. If you cannot see yours, give it a few minutes and it should sync to your Apple Watch. Click on it. If you do it the first time, you'll ask for permission scan. You have to click allow. Ta-da! Here's your Maybank wallet on your Apple Watch. You can now pay at any McDonald's, KFC, or 99 Speed Mart without pulling your phone out. Not that it's hard, but it's convenient and cool. If you want to, you can set up the shortcut on your watch face, or you can call Siri to pull up the shortcut. So that's it. If you want any updates or help, please head to Apple Major Discord. I'll be there. And if you'd like to watch more cool stuff like this, and perhaps educational content, please follow my Instagram. Bye-bye.